Hello, in this video I will be going through how to mod Cult of the Lamp. I will be using the most popular mod for this game as an example, since that's what most people would want to install, and how you do it for this mod is the same way as you as how you would do it for the vast majority of mods out there. So first we need to go to this Nexus mod page. I will leave um, the link for this in the video description. The Cult of QOL collection. We scroll down in the description until we find these uh, two links. We click on both of them. We open them in new tabs. One of them is a direct link. It's going to start downloading right away. Then we open the files tab in QOL collection. And we close this tab right here. We don't need it. It's already downloaded. Then here we click on manual download on this tool. Now these are the tools we need to install other mods. Now for this mod right here, QOL collection, we click on download from the files tab. We log in into our account if we're not already. So we're able to download. Now these are the three um, files we downloaded. And from here we go to where the game is installed. Now for me it's located here in the Steam Apps folder. Then we go ahead and open our file we downloaded, the bipnx. Uh, pack and we drag this uh, the contents of this folder right here into our uh, where the our game is installed where the executable of the game exists then we launch the game once you we launch it from steam if you have the game from steam then once the game launches we just alt f4 or we exit the game normally that will create our our um, configuration files then after that we open our second mod right here, the configuration manager. We drag its contents from plugins into the plugins folder. And then for the mod that we got, we go to the plugins and we drag and drop our DLL into the plugins folder. And this is how you install most of the mods out there. They're just DLL files that you drag into the plugins folder in the pip NX folder. And now in this folder right here in config, we find the generated settings file, which we can modify if we want to. And these take effect once we save them. After that, we launch our uh, game. Again, you don't have to launch it from here. You can launch it from the Steam uh, created shortcut. And to know that this works, we click on F1 on the keyboard and that pulls out the mod manager menu. And from here we can modify and make our changes. So that's it. I hope this helps you and peace out.